Hi, I'm Joe Marin, Senior Analyst, Digital Technologies for Printing Industries of America. And in today's video, we're going to talk about color separation considerations, and more specifically, under color removal and gray component replacement. Converting images from RGB to CMYK is more than just a mode change in Photoshop. Considerations are made for total ink coverage, as well as how the black separation is generated. And most importantly, a decision has to be made. Are you going to convert images using what is called under color removal or UCR? Or are you going to use gray component replacement or GCR? The choice that you make will determine where and how much black is introduced into the image, as well as how much cyan, magenta, and yellow ink will be reduced under black. So what's the difference between UCR and GCR? Well, let's take a look at UCR first. UCR reduces the amount of cyan, magenta, and yellow and increases the amount of black in areas where black is already present in the image. As we see in this example, UCR primarily affects the neutral three-quarter tone and shadow areas of the image. The cyan, magenta, and yellow areas are reduced and replaced with black. Again, UCR should not affect colored areas, only neutral areas of the image. Now, let's take a look at how separating color with GCR impacts an image. GCR also reduces the amount of cyan, magenta, and yellow and increases black within an image. However, GCR is much more aggressive. It will affect both the neutral and color areas in an image. So, GCR affects all trichromatic colors. And a trichromatic color is any color, neutral or otherwise, that is made up of cyan, magenta, and yellow ink. Depending upon how much GCR is applied, black can be introduced into an image from the highlight areas to the shadow areas. What are the advantages and disadvantages of UCR and GCR? Let's start with UCR first. The advantage of UCR is the ability to make color adjustments on press. If a customer comes in and wants to do a press OK and requests color adjustments to be made on press, you'll be able to do it with a UCR separation. The disadvantage of a UCR separation is that throughout a press run, images are going to be more susceptible to color variation. The advantages of a GCR separation are a GCR separation will actually use less of the more expensive cyan, magenta, and yellow inks and more of the cheaper black ink within a separation. Also, a GCR separation will print more consistently throughout a press run. Now, the disadvantage of a GCR separation is the reduction or elimination in the ability to make color adjustments on press. So if you have a customer that comes in and wants to do a color OK and wants to adjust the color on press, if the images were separated using GCR, it's probably not going to happen. Well, I hope you found this video on UCR and GCR to be useful and informative. Until next time, thanks for watching.